Well, hello, everyone. It's Tuesday, May 10th, 2022. I'm Doug. It's time once again for the Daily Quartal. Uh, our good friend UTU49 uh, writes, My words have been kicking buttock lately. Well, uh, such strong language, such passionate language, but we love passion here. Uh, so let's see. Here's an opener that we'll go for today. Alien Sport Ducky or Dookie. Um, I'm sure I will be corrected in the comments on the pronunciation, and that's totally fine. Alien <laughs> uh, Sport. Uh, I don't have any obvious gimmies yet, so we'll try D-U-C-H-Y. And now let's take a look at what we're going to get here. Uh, on board one, we have all of the five letters scrambled. We know that the I is in the middle. We have a U, R, E, and N to uh, unscramble. Uh, wow. Well, I mean, it, it. I guess urine. <laughs> yeah. Um. um Urine. I mean, I, I hope I'm not pissing anyone off. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. I couldn't help myself. It is urine. There you go. Do, 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 do. It's urine. Okay. Puzzle three. We have T H O R N um, out of position. So it's not thorn, but it could be uh, north. Uh, I believe that would be the answer. There are no P jokes on this puzzle. And there we go. North it is. Um, let's move over to puzzle two uh, with an E at the end. Uh, there's a D and an H also hanging out there. Um, don't have quite enough yet on this one to hazard a guess. And we have A, L, S, and O all out of position uh, on this one. It's not solar, obviously, because we've looked at the S in the top and we've looked at the R. Um, so I am, uh, could, I wonder if it's, I wonder if it's Lasso, L-A-S-O-O. Oh, that'd be a, a tricky one, wouldn't it? Um, I'm half tempted to actually evaluate that. Um, cause I would get, I would get Intel on L-A-S-N-O. Um, you know, I gotta tell you, here it is. Here it is. It's an official spider senses moment, folks. Um, oh, uh, to L-A-S-S-O. That's what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm, am I correct? I was. Ah, spider senses uh, are have uh, remained strong here on the show. So that puts us down to just one puzzle. Again, just an E at the end with a D and an H. So not enough yet to go too crazy, but I have three shots at this. I have all the vowels and Y evaluated. So now I can pick uh, some. I can pick some consonants to look at. Uh, I suppose it's possible there's a double E, so there's there's some possibilities there. Uh, let's see. How about what can I do here? Um, I would like to. I would love to get like three consonants evaluated, if possible. Uh, we could do. Boy, I'm drawing a blank on good ideas to put all these letters together. Um, Hmm, it's the Scrabble principle. Pretend you're playing Scrabble, and these are the letters in front of you. Um, I would just walk away sometimes from Scrabble. I was a bad sport. I will admit I've been a bad sport at times playing Scrabble. Um, anyhow, uh, begin, B-E-G, begin, B-E-G-I-N. I mean, I can all, I I'm only seems to be capable of figuring out two consonants here, so we'll try begin, just get something going here. Okay, so we got a lot from this. We got a lot from this. Uh, we cracked this case, perhaps, because now we have all five letters. We have the double E. Uh, we have H, uh, D, and G. So there you go, hedge. So there you go. Begin was actually uh, a great decision uh, because that gives us hedge, which I am almost certain is going to be our answer. And there it is. It's hedge. <laughs> Right. So there you go. Uh, U2U49. Good stuff. And you had another suggestion there as well. So, you know, we'll do like a U2U double header and we'll do another one of your openers uh, on the next episode. Folks, I do want to hear your uh, uh, quartal experiences in the chat and the comments below. Uh, let's hear what you got, your starting words. Uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. We appreciate it. And of course, we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of the Daily Quartal.